hello guys welcome back again In this video we will continue exploring the visual studio 2019 um, this video will create a very simple c sharp application it will be more like a um, c sharp console application just to get the feel of the new visual studio so we will get it started i mean if you can see i've got a visual studio 2019 open so we go ahead and then cl um, click on the um, create a new project actually not create a new project so once we here you see the first one is the .NET Core um, console application we will use the usual .NET framework so we're just gonna write console so it, here the language we can actually select um, the C sharp language so as you can see we've got the .NET Core and the .NET Framework one so we just select this bit here and then so as you can see we've got a project name solution name and whatnot so we could just change our project name to um, hello world for our first project so now we've got our project created so as you can see it's a, it's a simple console app so what we do is we're just gonna build a very simple calculator uh, we, I'm just gonna show you like most of the C sharp I mean the, the, the most primitive keywords that you come across a lot along the way so we start by declaring a variable int so we declare an integer x and then we set the initial value to 0 then we declare another integer y we set the initial value to 0 so we've got two in integers so the next bit is a um, console right line then we can write um, please enter the first number so we can set x to this value int dot pass so we just read for the, to get the the, uh, the input we say console dot read line so we do the same bit here console dot right line so we can say again please Please enter your second number. So we then we set that to Y as well. So we can just say console or rely. So that's what we have here now. So the next bit now we've got both the first and the second value. We can say console the right line um, please select your operation so we could say um, console the right line T for the tab and then A we use A for add console the right line um, S for subtract C 
console dot right line and you got m multiply there we've got d for division so now now we've got this bit sorted out we can say um, we can put this bit in a try and I'll, I'll explain this bit on a later video so whatever that error that or the, uh, any unforeseen circumstances we're just going to print it over here so we're just going to say we're just going to print out the message so in here we're going to say we're going to put inside a switch um, switch console read line now we can say case a and we can say console dot right line then we can say answer the first number plus our second number which is y is equal to x plus y so that's what we do for the rest of it so what, this is what we're going to do we're just going to copy this bit here we're going to paste it here and then we can say case s so here we're just going to put a minus and a minus here then we do the we post it again and then in here we're going to put um, M so we put a X for multiplication but here we put a star instead for multiplication as and then Post, we paste the last bit here and that will be D for division so we can put this division here and division here so we can so we put the last bit I'm just gonna So here, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to remove this bit here and we're going to put default. Um, we're going to remove the case. So, default. So that's what we're gonna put here. Now this is what we're gonna we're gonna remove this bit here. And we're gonna say invalid choice selected. So that's what uh, this is what we're gonna do. So as you can see here the exception here. Yeah? so this this actually catches any unforeseen circumstances so we're going to put one more bit uh, one more catch here and it's, it will be divide by zero exception so if you divide by zero zero you this this um exception will be will be hit so we can say cannot divide 
by zero. Now we're just gonna leave it like like something like this. All we could, all we could say we can add on the exception message. So as you can see, so it's a pretty straightforward stuff. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put console red line here. And uh, we're going to run it to see what comes out of it. So as you can see, it's a very simple stuff. Enter your first number, second number. We enter our choice. Um, I actually, I've got this little bit here mistake. So um, I'm going to stop you and correct it straight away. So this this here is supposed to be A instead of S. So I'm just gonna rerun it. So we have the first number and the second number. So we select our operation A. So as you can see, we've got. A, so once I press enter, the whole thing stops. We resolve that one. So the next bit is uh, we will try and create a method. So this is our, our try, our try catch. We're gonna copy this bit here. We're going to remove it. So this is our main method here. So we're gonna put a static void. Do calculations. int s int y for the two numbers so here we can paste our method inside here I mean our try catch block here so as you can see now we've got this this part We've removed this bit here, so it's now a very small, small. Size. So the next bit is um, we can say do calculation. Then we can pass our x and y. So we we can run it again. It's the same. So M for multiplication, so that's fine. So it's still when you click on this like this, it actually goes up. So we can we can resolve that by putting that in a do do while loop. So here we copy this B again. Then we can say um So we can say we can put our do here. So I'm just gonna put true here for now. Then we will we will write some simple stuff too. So now we can paste our method here. So in this case, it will run, 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 run until we actually close it. So we enter our first, second, uh, M for multiplication, press enter, it's invalid, invalid choice selected. So that's one thing that we have to do. So instead of putting the do while loop here, we will put actually put the do while loop inside the main method rather. So here 
You're just going to remove it. And paste this bit here as it is. And we come inside the main. Just copy this bit here. This bit here. Then put inside the do while loop while two. Okay, so there's something that we did not copyright. Okay, so we we're going to copy it again. So do while true. So while it's true, it will keep on running, 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 running. So we're going to say string e for exit you're going to say um Press X to exit and we can say EX is equal to console dot read line. So we can say ES It's not the same as X. So now we can run it again. So now we press X and then we can close. So we Press any other key to continue. So now I'm just going to leave it here. Then we can continue. We can drag it on on the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. And have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.